Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome to this tutorial. Where we're gonna be looking at speed ramping and how to use it inside of Premiere. It'll be a quick one, but if you can master it, it's gonna take your videos to the next level. Let's jump inside of Premiere. All right, so now that we're in Premiere, drag our clip onto the timeline. So we wanna find the points in and out that we want to start speeding up. So we say, so th this is just a clip that's rotating around some t towers. So let's say we wanted to start speeding up at this point. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab the clip and drag it up so we've got more room and you can see this white line here at the moment it's just opacity so what we can do is we can go up into this little fx here right mouse click time remapping speed and then we want to hit p on the keyboard and then just on this gray line just hit where we want the points to come start speeding up and then the same thing if we want it to start slowing down hit the p on the keyboard hit the line and then we can start slowing it down there so then now if we hit V on the keyboard, we can grab the line in between the two markers and pull it up. And that's changed the speed in between those two clips. So now if we look at it, as soon as it hits that point, it starts speeding up and then it slows down. Now one of the problems is this is a very hard cut. So we wanna smooth it out a bit more, zoom in onto the keyboard again. And where these little triangle is we just want to pull it out and it spaces out between the two gaps and as you can see it's a sm much more smooth transition into it and we can do the same thing out if we do that then it's gradually slows down now to make it even more smooth in between we've got this little line if we grab the line and just slowly move it you can see it sort of has that even a more of a gradual fade in and out and we can do the same to the other side so if we just click in between the markers it brings up the line smooth it out and simple as that we've got our speed ramping in and out now another clip so this one going forward so if we drag this onto a timeline so this one will be because it's going forward we can do the same thing but this one we want to make a bit different so we do the exact same thing let's say we want it to start speeding up here again time remapping speed hit p on the keyboard hit the line find to where we want to start it to stop it so we want to stop it there hit the line again do the same things bring it up let's smooth out the two points zoom in hit in between give it that gradual in same thing on the way out give it that gradual out now as we can see it starts smoothing up and then slowly fades back to normal speed one thing we can do though is if we want to make it more real realistic is adding motion blur. You can do it in Premiere, but one of the better ways I prefer to do it is if you in After Effects. So if you right mouse click, hit replace with After Effects composition. So with After Effects up, you can see it's transferred what we've done in Premiere to After Effects. Now we want to add that blur. What we can do is go up here and type in CC force, force motion blur, drag that onto the clip now if we play it through you can see on the side here it's just added that little bit of motion blur if we switch it off so it just adds that bit more realism to to the shot you can increase the blur by just increasing this here increasing that that will slow down your computer though but as you can see, it just adds that bit more blur. Well, that'll about do it for today's tutorial. If you got something out of it, please hit the subscribe button. There's plenty more coming in the next couple of weeks and I'll see you in the next one.